Ge i Damax genade ni ni stor gott nat bich dat boka ni de nat sipo nat sikopados doyem nem khdu du gana kipigani ni xestanasta baksikomosaki nena anasta asakoyo ketobi nas anastawa estibayo doa ki natuka namai aki ki ikenanski ki otsko ikenan hello my name is tatiana weasel marcusen my i am from the blood tribe and from bigani i am a young proud blackfoot woman and i'm here today to talk about the history of the jingle dress dance and what it has done for me and where it is going to take me for the foreseeable future. I started jingle dress dancing when I was five years old. And the person that made it happen for me uh, is my mother. She's the one that created, that creates all of my regalia, my moccasins, my beadwork, that pushes me to do better when I feel like I can't. The regalia that I'm wearing today is a graduation gift. And right here is a past outfit that I've worn in my life. On the back are my previous outfits that I've worn throughout my life as well. It's a nice little timeline for me. And along here, you can see I have a heart that says KWM. I dance for my late sister, um, Kristen Weasel Moccasin. She's one of my many mothers that have taught me to never be afraid of anything in life and to keep dancing. I've never shared where my feather came from because I was taught that to keep something sacred, it can't be sh um, shown or shared. So. But my feather was given to me by my grandpa, um, Mickey Smith. He's from the Bikani Nation. And he is one of the people that taught me how to pray and how to keep our language going and to keep learning and evolving. And so that's what I keep on my head and when I dance. This fan was given to me by my grandpa, Stuart Weasel Moccasin. For years, I went through different fans. The feathers would get worn out from all the dancing. So the origin of the story, so this mother and father had a young daughter who was really sick, and her name was Maggie White. And Maggie couldn't do anything at the time because she couldn't walk, she couldn't talk. She couldn't do anything. So her father went and was looking for a medicine man to help her with, her with his daughter. He prayed to Creator. Creator came to him in a dream and told him that he needs to make a dress for Maggie, that Maggie's gonna heal when she dances around that camp for four days. So he got the materials and I believe instead of these cones, they were acorns. And there was 365 of them that represented the days of the year. So on the first day, Maggie couldn't go all the way around the camp. Her parents had to carry her through the camp. And on the second day, she went halfway on her own, but she still needed help from her mom and her dad. Then on the third day, she was able to dance and spin around. She was smiling. And that continued on into the fourth day. And that represents the healing dance, the jingle dress dance. And this dance can help women and men through many years to come. And as a Blackfoot woman, that's what I plan on doing for the rest of my life.